Now, if you're new to analysis services or even if you're new to Power Pivot, Power Pivot is only available if you're using Excel 2010 or higher. Okay? So if, you're, if you haven't upgraded Office in a while, you may not be able to do Power Pivot unless you have uh, Excel 2010 or higher. If you have Excel 2010, then it's a free add-in that you can download from PowerPivot.com that will add Power Pivot to Excel for you. Now, the nice thing about Power Pivot is it's basically its own analysis services using something called X Velocity, which is a powerful engine that's used for things like Column Store. Uh, if, you, if you're familiar more on the database side with 2012, that hyper-compresses your data and makes it return back results very quickly. Uh, and we'll get into Power Pivot. We're actually going to do a quick demo of that. Then there's the next level up from Power Pivot for Excel is Power Pivot for SharePoint. Now, the, the, the interesting thing about this is it's the same as Power Pivot for Excel, but this is the more scalable version of it. So Power Pivot for Excel is purely on your desktop. So your desktop that you have Excel, your Excel client installed on, it's on the, the Power Pivot for Excel only lives on your desktop. Now, if I wanted to share that with others, I'd have to either email it to them or I'd have to share it through a file share or something like that. But once you are ready to actually make it where it's publicly available and you want to make it so that it's scalable to multiple users or maybe even hundreds of users, that's when you want to involve SharePoint. SharePoint 2010 or higher, so SharePoint 2010 or 2013, has the capability of integrating Power Pivot inside of SharePoint. And this allows Power Pivot to be much more scalable and it also does, it does in fact require an installation of analysis services from your SQL Server install. So Power Pivot for SharePoint has to be at least SharePoint 2010 and Share, uh, SQL Server 2012 to be able to do Power Pivot for Excel. I'm sorry, Power Pivot for SharePoint, excuse me. The next ladder up is Analysis Services Tabular. This is also exclusive to SQL Server 2012. So let me label these appropriately here like we just talked about a moment ago. So this guy was SharePoint 2010 or higher and SQL Server 2012. Sorry, it's going over my other part of my screen there. Now, Analysis Services Tabular is the new form of analysis services in SQL Server 2012. It does not require that you have SharePoint, but they can be uh, used together if you want to be able to share uh, your tabular model that you create so that other users can uh, sh uh, also create reports on it. And this is oftentimes where you'll have users that will create uh, what's called a Power View report. Whole, we have a whole slew of uh, Power View sessions that you can find on our website as well. But that allows you to create things like Power View reports and share it with others. Now, the, the question here is we're, we're seeing that these are all considered tabular. Underneath my tabular heading, all three of these are considered tabular. So really, what's the difference? The major thing is how resources are allocated. So Power Pivot for Excel, like we talked about, this is purely on your client machine. This is my client machine that I've installed Excel on, and I've installed, installed an add-in. So it's dependent on the memory that I have on my, my desktop. It's dependent on any resources that exist on my, my laptop itself. Power Pivot for SharePoint, that's where we scale out, and we actually have a server instance that's uh, integrated with SharePoint that we can deploy our Power Pivot workbooks to. Okay? Now, the, the next step up here, this analysis services tabular, is really the uh, server version of Power Pivot. So, so this is the, uh, the, the server version where I could develop this Power Pivot workbook, and if I wanted to, I could actually upsize that to a tabular model, and I can use all the resources of a regular server that I have. So again, the differences between these two are one is more server-based, and then the difference between the Power Pivot for SharePoint and Analysis Services Tabular is one is dependent on SharePoint, while the other does not require SharePoint. The last and final one that you see here is Analysis Services Multidimensional. This version of Analysis Services has been around for years now. In fact, any, any version of SQL Server that you have from 2000 and up, so if you have SQL Server 2000, you could even do this, uh, will allow you to do Analysis Services Multidimensional. This is more the corporate version of analysis services. This is I have terabytes and terabytes of data, and I want to be able to analyze it in pivot tables very quickly. Uh, I want to be able to create reports off of this very, very large data set that I've created. That's when you usually upscale into doing an analysis services multidimensional. Now, if you've ever played with analysis services before in the past, even pre-2012, then you've likely been uh, experimenting with the multidimensional version of analysis services. And really, there is kind of a sliding scale here, too, when it comes to 
things like scalability, uh, difficulty, to, difficulty to learn. Let me graph this out real quickly. So when it comes to things like scalability, that's something that's really important to us. And maybe how long it takes to develop, so time to develop. They really have a sliding scale here from what we just looked at in that previous slide were the full-blown multidimensional analysis services will be definitely more scalable, can handle a lot more data, but it's also going to take a lot more time to develop versus something like power pivot on the other end of the spectrum. Okay, so we talked about power pivot, we talked about tabular, and we talked about multidimensional. You can follow that same scale that we looked at in this chart right here on that uh, graph that I just drew. So when it comes to things like scalability, um, not necessarily performance, but um, uh, we just looked at uh, the ability to share and all those different functionalities, that, that there's a sliding scale with which you would choose. And I'm going to get more detail on actually choosing which analysis service is best for you, but for now I just want you to understand that there are a lot of different options. Now the first option we're going to talk about is Power Pivot, and then we'll get into tabular and multidimensional. Okay, so let's talk about Power Pivot development. Power Pivot, like we mentioned earlier, is available in Excel 2010 or higher, and it's the self-service BI version of Analysis Services. It's just simply open up Excel, and I can create my own Power Pivot workbook that allows me to do uh, Analysis Services from inside of a, in a, an Office client. So it makes it very easy to get started with Analysis Services. Now, the cube is basically a cube without a data warehouse. So if you've done multidimensional Analysis Services in the past, you'll know that it's really developed or it's really designed to consume data warehouse data, or, or a data model that's formatted in a data warehouse way. Now, with Power Pivot, it's not, you're not forced into that hole. You can, you can actually have multiple data sources that you pull together. They can be from all sorts of different uh, data sources that, that, that can be merged together inside Power Pivot and easily joined together. While with, if we were doing the full-blown multidimensional, again, it'd be preferable to ha have that data in a data warehouse. The nice thing about Power Pivot, and I just mentioned this, is it's, it's very good at mashing loosely related data together and being able to report on it. So if I have a lot of separate data sources, maybe I have a DB2 source that has uh, my inventory data in it, and I have an Oracle source that has my sales data in it, and my HR data is in SQL Server, well, Power Pivot is great at bringing those things together, and it allows you to kind of prototype things like building out a data warehouse and what analysis services may look like on your data.